Hey guys, welcome back to channel. You're here with Adrian going places, and it's early morning right here in Bangkok, Thailand. I don't want to be taking you from Bangkok to Cambodia. So for this video, it serves for two purposes. For people who want to know what it's like taking a train from Bangkok to Cambodia, and people that want to do a border run from Thailand. So it serves for two purposes. So one is if you want to know what it's like taking a train from Bangkok to Cambodia at the border, and also Secondly, if you want to know what it's like to do in a border run by train, this is a train station you want to take to get from Bangkok to Thailand, from Bangkok to Cambodia. So let's go. So what's all in the train look like? This is the seating areas. I was sitting over the other side. This is what seating and everything look like. You got fans going and get all these shelves for you can't put your stuff on. This trainer is only 49 baht and it's not bad, it's really good. Even though to get to Cambodia is like what? It's like five and a half hours of ride. It's 49 baht. It's cheaper than taking the bus. So I just wanted to take an experience and do a like travel on the, the train. Hopefully the train is moving in. Yeah, moving out. Yeah, so this right here is the bathroom right there, you can see. That's the bathroom. Um, I'm sure you guys the bathroom. So this is the bathroom. The train's about to move. And the water is flush in there. That's about it. And then over here is a sink. You can just go and wash your hands. To the bathroom. And we have the conductor here. So this they're leaving this train stop. Oh, it's so authentic. I don't know what city this is. This guy's walking around with the tickets. Oh, 
thought you wanted to see my ticket. stop that I used to stop at until last year they extended it um, this couple right here just told us that they extended it um, last year it's called like So I'm gonna go to the immigration office first. Uh, here. Alright now so we finally made it off as you can see that's the border. It's called Bangalon on border so now. So we're gonna head down to the immigration office and then sign in and then cross the border to Cambodia. I think it's like you gotta walk like five minutes down the down the street, so we're gonna do that right now. So we just gotta find the immigration office and then cross the border and then I'll tell you how the process goes. Have the train, you just wanna make your way all the way down here. Just keep going straight. Just follow all these people. So when you walk out, you don't leave this area. So, so let me show you guys where to go for the password. So you want to get up when you get out of there. So you want to go down here, make a turn. You see the control center right there. Passport control. And then they got some people right here. You can like print your stuff if you want to. Go all the way down, all the way to the end. So we're just gonna follow the signs until we find the where we're supposed to cross the border at. Now we gotta go over here, see the signs that say foreign passport. So you follow the signs that say foreign passport. Obviously, I'm speaking from a US person, stand for it. And then we're gonna go through over the border. So let's go. The two F. So go that excavator right here. Follow two F sign. I'm gonna show you guys take it right through how to cross the border right here with me. We just finished the immigration. Now we're gonna go to Cambodia. So now we're gonna go to Cambodia. So now we are about to enter Cambodia. You see the flags are right here. We're on the Friendship Bridge right now. And as soon as we walk, you see the flags about to change. See the Thailand flags and then the Cambodia flags right behind us. So let's go. We're finally crossing the border. Let's go to the immigration and get in the next country. So now we are over the border and now we are here. We're at the checkpoint right here for the Cambodia border. And there's a rival over there. And we're gonna go. So now we're gonna over by the arrival side and get a checkpoint in so foreign passport first floor so i think we gotta go up the stairs let's go up the stairs guys finally made it over to cambodia now we're on the cambodia side um puppet to be exact exact and now we successfully crossed the border, so now we're gonna cross back in. So I will tell you, thank you for watching this video so far. 
and let's get back into Bangkok now. I'll give you guys a little quick view of Here there's a quick view uh, guys give you a quick view of what it looks like in Cambodia right now at the Cambodia Thailand crossing so over that side that's Thailand over there and this is Cambodia and it's so crazy and busy out here So, uh, this is the way to cross back in so you cross back in here and go up these stairs and go right here. Okay right, guys, so far everything the experience have been so wonderful. Coming from going through the everything has been so easy, flow easy coming from the Thai come from Thailand into Cambodia, the flow was so easy. Let me break down everything that happened. So when you walk in and go to the immigration office and join a line, you can get a visa on arrival. Visa on arrival costs $30, which is like 1300 baht. So that was not bad. And then now I'm gonna cross back inside into Thailand, cross back from Cambodia into Thailand. So for me, why I choose to cross the border with a train instead of using an uh, agency. Uh, agency, they're gonna take you on a bus and do all of that. And it costs like 130. So I rather do for me. So what I'm saying, if you, go, if you do this through an agency, they're gonna charge you $131. And if you do it by yourself, it's just gonna cost you around $33, um, $1 ride. And then, $30 for the visa fee at the board because you can get um, visa on arrival. So now let me take you back over back to the border in Thailand. Let's go. Yeah, look like a night market is over here. This is so cute here in that market. Like you can just like sit out here and like fish and that's, that's cute. It's a cute date night right here. So right now we have about 25 minutes away from the train station. It's back outside. I am tired. You know the train ride is not bad. It's just long. It just long, super long. And the stops, there's a lot of stops. That's the thing about it. There's a lot of stops. It's a downfall. And the stops and for the last train. Take a little they stop when they do the stop they stay there for like five minutes so that just adds up versus when you go into Cambodia it doesn't as soon as they stop they go so they only wait like five minutes around so it feel a lot more faster going into Cambodia when we are leaving it's, every stop is like they wait there for like five minutes that's the only dumb call but again it's 49 bucks for this ride so it's what it comes with Station. Finally here. After a long ride. Finally at Bangkok. Train station. Just waiting for the train to stop now. 